Hello my lovelies! As you probably know by now, I'm very, very spontaneous with filming my videos. I don't really think too much about what am I gonna film and I don't really plan ahead too far, which is sometimes good but also sometimes bad. It's bad because I'm not so organized, I'm not like really strategically approaching this channel. I'm not thinking like, ooh, this is what I should film so that my channel grows faster. I literally film everything that you guys request and basically it was like a morning routine or if it's like a get ready with me video, if it's a bag collection, shoe collection, I just film what I see you guys asking me on my Instagram, Snapchat, anywhere really on my blog or on YouTube. So the way I'm approaching this YouTube channel is kind of listening to my community and trying to respond to your requests. So recently I went to South of France, I shopped a little bit, posted some pictures on Instagram and you guys all responded this better be in a haul. Then I did like a little mini tiny Snapchat haul and received so many responses being like but can you film a video about this as well and I was really surprised how much you guys love watching these haul videos. So because you asked for it, here is my latest luxury haul. So I think you all know the sad story about getting robbed in Saint-Tropez and losing some of my favorite bags. So I thought like this should be the month for me to replace them. And I'm still feeling a little bit vulnerable about the whole thing that happened. In fact, I feel that initially everything was a bit of a shock. I'm not sure why, maybe because it's like a difficult period for me, but I'm feeling a little bit more vulnerable about everything that happened now. I wouldn't say upset, I wouldn't say stressed, I wouldn't say, I don't know, there's a reason why I'm using vulnerable because that's exactly how I feel. So I actually walked in Gucci yesterday and I looked at a bag that got stolen from me and because they got it back in stock now and I just couldn't commit to buy it. It was like, it's hard to explain. I looked at it with a lot of like sadness kind of, but I was like, nah, I can't commit to spend the money again. So. That being said, I've got a new Gucci bag and this one is from Louis Via Roma. I was looking their latest kind of new in section. You guys know that I love shopping on Louis Via Roma. They have the best selection of like a lot of kind of quirky, fun, young stuff and they have a great selection of Gucci. Make sure to check it out. As always, I will leave a link for every of these pieces that I bought in the description box below. So if you're interested in any of these pieces, check them out. The bag I went for is a great piece for the season to come. It is this Gucci Small Marmon um, velvet bag in sort of like a petrol blue, maybe like teal color with golden hardware. Now, this bag is not gonna scratch because obviously it's velvet, so, so easy to use. It opens similar to like the Dionysus bag so it has like a little clasp at the bottom which gives it a bit more luxurious feel because I just thought it's going to be one of those that you just close and that's it but it's just has a nice clasp and then inside it's got like smooth blue leather and then satin like pink satin at the bottom I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell there's a back pocket here as well and at the back it's chevron and it's got this heart which I think is very cute but you don't really see that when you're wearing it so if you don't like it it doesn't really matter either this is how I wear it, I would wear it as a shoulder or a crossbody bag I think it's just beautiful, I'm excited to bring it with me to the fashion month especially because velvet is the thing of autumn winter season it is like the biggest trend there is so like anything velvet is huge you see it on high street, you can see it in luxury it's just everywhere and because I'm such a Gucci addict I thought I had to have this. It also comes in like a burgundy color. Also on Louis Vuitton Roma they have it in like a full leather version which is not a lot more expensive and it comes in many different colors so check it out. So to keep going with the Gucci vibe I've got a very very small accessory that I still haven't unboxed. Well I've opened it but I haven't removed it from the box because I haven't worn it yet. So this is what it looks like. It's like just kind of standard Gucci box and when you open it it is like a little tie. I mean, my sister was like, this is just ridiculous. If you have like a really nice white shirt, which I think everyone does in their wardrobe, you wear this under the lapel. I haven't closed it now because it's kind of difficult. And I think it looks very cute. Like, it's nothing major. It's nothing special. It's not like groundbreaking piece but it has the Gucci like animalistic you know the animal sign here like the logo and it looks very cute just to kind of spice up the white simple shirt I think it does add a bit more kind of different and cooler white another Gucci purchase which was very spontaneous comparing to the rest of things were these babies so 
These shoes are very, very statement. They are in like hot pink with gold and navy detailing. When I saw them in the shop, I was like, yeah, they're okay, nothing special. I mean, like classic sandal. I'm not really crazy about those kind of like sexy shoes and things like that. But I tried them on. I saw how feminine, ladylike and beautiful they look on foot. And I was like, I actually cannot leave the shop without them. I think they're beautiful. They're a runway piece. Signature Gucci animal uh, on front. I think it's like a tiger. Is it a tiger? I don't know. Someone tell me. Uh, but they are just beautiful and so comfortable. I already wore them a few times. They are extremely comfortable. Apparently there's a thing that Alessandro Michele, the creative director of Gucci, does to create more comfortable heel. So apparently this front bit is made with like a lot of layers and that is what makes it a lot more comfortable. So I love these. The next item was not really planned in my wardrobe, but it was something that I was looking at for a very, very long time. I feel that the brand resonates with me probably the most of a lot of luxury brands. And even though I don't have many pieces from it, I think it's just a brand that really suits my style and my aura and who I am. And I'm talking about Christian Dior. This is my second Dior bag and it is probably one of my top five favorite bags I own right now. I'm talking about Diorama and this bag is in a middle size, so it comes in three sizes. There's only one bigger size than this. It is in beautiful light blue color. The leather is a little bit grainy, which I like because it would be such a pity to scratch this beauty. Now it opens by pressing this signature Dior clasp here. I hate to do it, but I have to compare it to the boy bag. It's very similar inside and by the shape. It says Christian Dior at the back here, Paris. There's a back pocket which contains a Dior little kind of like, I guess, like certificates and where I bought it and a booklet. And then at the front, there is like a little pocket here where you can put your phone. I love this. Like how cute actually with this outfit, right? And I know we're getting into autumn and winter and like who buys like a pastel colored bag. But I thought, just imagine like a winter look in all pastels and this bag. How nice would that be? I'm really like thinking that this winter I'm not gonna spend in black. Like I, in general, I don't really wear black. So if you go on my blog and look at the outfits, you can rarely ever see me in black. The darkest color I wear is navy. This with like a beige or white coat and white trousers or even like a denim and like white nice jacket and this. I think it would be so cool and just different and that's kind of what I like. So this bag was love at first sight. It was a decision between this one and navy one in a bigger size but then I thought this one is more special and navy is just kind of, you know. <laughs> so that's it with the Dior. I really love that purchase. I'm so happy about it and I can't wait to wear it more. I think actually I'm gonna paint my nails in that like light blue kind of like porcelain color and wear it together because such a beautiful color. Now I'm gonna go into the shoes, like more shoes. So you've seen these already on my Snapchat if you watched my mini Snapchat haul and I'm talking about Jimmy Choo. Now Jimmy Choo is one of the brands that I started working with I feel like in 2011. It's one of the first brands I ever got in touch with and one of my absolute favorite shoe brands. I think they're constantly evolving, they're always so great. Maybe I'm biased because I work with a brand, I don't know, but I just love it and these pieces, especially Actually, in particular one item I'm obsessed with. First I'm going to talk to you about these beauties. Now as you can see they're also velvet. I mean I told you it's the best trend of the season and no matter what your budget is and no matter if you want to shop or not I can already tell you that you should have one velvet piece in your wardrobe. Maybe get a blazer or like a top or like velvet booties because I think these are just so beautiful. This model is called Lacey. Um, I open it here and then slide my foot in. Then you close them and this is what they look like on the foot, basically. This is the model. They're pointy, which is obviously the like kind of desired model for the season. The heel looks very beautiful. It's kind of straight but very pretty. I actually went sides up with these because they're pointy and I want to be a bit more comfortable in them. And I know that they're going to be steady even if they're a little bit bigger because they have the ankle strap. Another great plus is velvet. It's not going to get scratched or, you know, like the heel is not going to get scratched so easy to be worn. They actually appear to be very comfortable but I haven't worn them yet so I can't really vouch. I would wear these with like raw ham jeans and a shirt or really like a dress 
for an evening out. Very, very excited to wear them and I could not wait to show them to you. So yeah, this is Lacey. Now, my favorite item from Jimmy Choo and I'm definitely bringing these to New York. Like, I don't care that it's 38 degrees and I do not care that this may be inappropriate or that I'm gonna be hot, but there's a Jimmy Choo party on the first night when I arrived to New York and this is what I want to be wearing, like with a mini dress. It's gonna be a crazy party, it's gonna be amazing and I want to wear these. Now, if you've seen these on Snapchat, you've seen them on as well, you've seen how crazy I am about them, and I'm talking about these crazy over-the-knee boots. Now, I saw them in April, and I was like, these are the boots that I want, and I could not wait to have them. So, there is a bit of a heel, I think it's like a um, 10 centimeter heel, but it's a block heel and it's very comfortable, so I'm not, I'm not like really fussed about it at all, I just think it's gonna look better on my leg. They're like basically really, really tall, and they look like they're laced up all until the end but actually there's a zip on the side the color might be a little bit misleading I'm not sure what it's showing on the camera but I would say they're dark olive green this boot is life guys like look at it I don't know if you can, if you can even fit in the camera like I mean I don't even know where to place the camera to show you these boots but they are insane. I cannot wait to wear them. I will leave the link down below. I think they're already selling and they're selling out fast because these are the boots you want to wear this season. They already have the rubber sole, which is amazing. So I don't have to get like a rubber sole. They'll be already fab for winter and colder days and rain. And how cool do you think they'll be with a mini dress during um, this like Jimmy Choo 20 year anniversary party in New York? I just cannot wait to wear them. Last item of this haul. Well, there, there should have been two items of this haul because I bought a Chanel brooch when we were in Cannes. We were in Cannes and I was like, I would really love like a big Chanel brooch to wear during winter on my coat or something like that and I put it in the Gucci bag when we were packing and moving and that got stolen from me and that's like such a sad story because I didn't even manage to really wear it once and it just got stolen so that should have been another item that I bought because I did buy it I'll maybe try and find a picture to insert it here but it doesn't matter I'm just gonna move on so the last thing that I want to show you is also by Jimmy Choo and I have not worn it yet I haven't even like properly unpacked it from the wrapping yet it is Locket Petit bag and you guys probably know that I already have one Locket Petit bag it's one of my favorite bags because it's pretty statementish. it's not a classic bag but it's something I wore at like various different places I get a lot of compliments on it because it's very special it's very versatile it fits nice amount of stuff and this is what it looks like now this one is in pretty bold and cool colors it has very very nice leather I still haven't removed you know this plastic from the front oh, I love this is so therapeutic removing this so this is in black color with golden hardware I would say has this kind of like navy suede bit here and then golden red and black detailing this is what it looks like on the side and just wait for it this is the shoulder strap it's very wintry because it has this for a shoulder strap so this is what it looks like when you put it on your shoulder imagine black coat or navy coat and then this bag is a statement you know when you're like bored of your coats in the winter this is just gonna be so perfect I wouldn't really wear this during the summer but actually you can remove the fur so um, you can detach it from the bag so basically this is what it is it's just beautiful I cannot wait to wear it I think I will definitely be wearing it uh, during the fashion month it's gonna be a very long month and I have to prepare 28 outfits tonight and I also want to film another video like I really don't know how am I gonna do this it opens like by pressing this bit here so you open it inside it's like suede and black and you see I still haven't removed the papers there we go there's a bit of a Jimmy Choo stuff and the authenticity card and then this is the space inside uh, I can't see because it's really dark and black but it fits a decent amount of stuff and this is what it looks like wow I am actually also coming down with a cold which is not great considering that I'm gonna be on tour for a month I also wanted to tell you guys thank you so much for your continued support we're almost hitting 100,000 subscribers I can't even believe it like I mean I'm always saying I don't really care about numbers, I care about community, I want to have engaged community, community which cares about stuff that I want to show. It's just really nice to have that kind of community. At the same time, I'm traveling to New York, then London, Milan and Paris, so I'll be doing the fashion month, I think I said it like 
five times throughout the video but the reason why I'm saying it again is because if you have any requests for any types of videos that you want me to film during this intense month do leave a comment below I always read every single comment and I try to respond to as much as I can that is it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye